What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Not doing TLDR this week, mixing it up because I have something even better. We're gonna do a deep dive into Tesla's semi truck because we got some awesome information on the conference call and more news has been leaking out from original customers. So I wanted to update you guys on my thoughts about the semi truck because my original projections for sales and financials were way off. I need to revise them upwardly dramatically and I've been getting even more excited about the semi than I already was. So let's talk about why. First of all, if you have been living under a rock, Elon Musk and Tesla unveiled this new all electric semi truck. So badass, so much faster than anything out there. 100% electric. Most semi trucks are running on gas, burning fossil fuels, diesel, polluting the planet, ruining everything. And they are like a backbone of e-commerce in a lot of ways. You know, when you order a package from Amazon or whatever, Walmart, how do you think it gets to you? It's got to get shipped all across the country here from there, you know, different warehouses. A lot of that travel happens on semi trucks, not only a, a, a part of the economy that needs to go renewable, but a massively growing segment of the economy as we continue to shift more and more of our sales online. So on the conference call, Q4 2017, Elon Musk said that he was projecting that Tesla could be selling up to as many as 100,000 semi-trucks per year within four years. I'll read you guys the quote right now. Elon says, it's easier to predict far easier to predict the endpoint or the steady state of the S curve than anywhere on that exponential or log curve. If you take four years, I think 100,000 units a year is a reasonable expectation. Maybe more, but I think that's right, roughly the right number, I think. Now, if you'll remember in my last episodes, the US semi-truck market is only selling about 200 to 250,000 cars per year. So if Tesla's manufacturing about 100,000 cars per year, that means they're getting a massive chunk of at least the US market. Maybe they're selling globally, so it's actually smaller, but you know, they're implying huge market share. How will Tesla be able to take this huge market share? First, the cost savings are real. Tesla estimates that there will be a two year payback on this semi truck. That was blowing away all the skeptics. Everybody was like, there's no way that'll happen. Now we have recent news from DHL, who was one of the initial customers of the, a Tesla semi truck, has been testing it out and is saying that the payback might be 18 months, not even two years, which is even faster than Tesla said. They said this is due to a mix of much lower maintenance costs because it's, the truck being electric has way fewer moving parts and because of fuel savings. Huge, because it's not just Tesla saying that the semi truck specs are unbelievable. It's DHL saying that the Tesla specs are unbelievable and they actually think they're even gonna be better than Tesla said. Then of course, Elon Musk got a tweet about something and says that I am feeling optimistic about beating the semi specs announced that the unveiling for the same price, the Tesla semi, the Tesla semi will be something really special. And this is why Tesla will be able to garner so much market share in the semi truck market is because their vehicles are actually gonna be saving truck operators money. It's all about economics. It's all about costs and efficiencies for these logistics companies. And if Tesla can really deliver there, they're gonna have a landslide of market share. Now let's get our hands dirty with my old sales numbers. As you can see, I was expecting a pretty conservative ramp, Tesla to go from 500 units in 2019 up to 20,000 in 2022. This would assume that Tesla captured about 10% of the US semi truck market by 2022. But with these new projections, I have Tesla scaling to 100,000 units produced in 20 or delivered in 2022. You can just tell I, I put this next to my old projections so you can see, I mean, the difference is staggering, like a massive upward revision to my estimates. Um, and once again, this assumes that Tesla, if it sold just in the US, would be capturing about 50% of the US semi-truck market, just to get, give you guys a ballpark. In terms of revenue, um, these are my old projections, the semi truck scaling about three or four million billion in revenue by 2022. New projections with the new sales, assuming the same average selling price of 180,000 per truck. We are looking at revenue of 18 billion when this ramps. That's right, I've had to re up my like revenue estimates by about 5X to be on par with what Elon Musk is guiding now. I mean, 18 billion is a huge deal. To put things in context, if Tesla is delivering 400,000 Model 3s per year at an average selling price of 50,000, that's 20 billion a year in revenue. So the Tesla semi truck at maturity could be almost as big of a program as the Model 3. What's really fascinating about the Tesla semi truck is I think my moonshot prediction here is their Tesla semi truck is gonna be so efficient through a combination of lower maintenance costs, fuel savings, and the thing nobody's talking about, self-driving capabilities, especially initially beginning with the convoy where you have the trucks behind each other, 
which means you only need one driver for three trucks, which is going to make them even more cost effective. I think this will lead for the trucking market overall to grow as it becomes more competitive than rail in a lot of use cases because Tesla is so much cheaper. So Tesla being cheaper will actually expand the addressable markets for trucks. It's hard for me to understate how excited and epic the potential of this is. You know, t this is Tesla pivoting from being just a car consumer company to actually being a freight company, which is a massive parallel addressable market. And this is why I think Tesla is so hard to value. And I call the company Amazon 2.0 because you can't predict what is coming out of Elon's mind next. Like this semi truck came out of left field and now it's a groundbreaking disruptive product, re reshaping an entire industry, potentially doing tens of billions in revenue per year. That's why I think it's so hard to value Tesla. This is not a car company. It is a battery company first with advanced robot manufacturing the, and that has incredible software engineering capabilities. And so, you know, Tesla being the best at producing the most efficient, the lowest cost batteries means they can enter so many different adjacent industries beyond just car and the Tesla semi truck is a perfect example of this. You know, in the future, I believe Tesla will go into massive freight cargo ships, potentially even electric airplanes, potentially even electric mega drones that are used to carry cargo. I can think of so many different applications in the long run as Tesla scales up this core battery technology and is going to allow them to enter all these different markets. But What's, you know, the hold up here? What's the skeptical, what's the skepticism? Well, the limiting factor, according to DHL, the same people who are so amped on the truck, is that the only thing that's gonna be holding this back is how fast Tesla can build its mega charger network. Because a huge selling proposition of the semi truck is these new things called the mega chargers, which is essentially a souped up version of Tesla's supercharger that can deliver like 400 miles of range in 30 minutes of charge, which is just absurd. Um, so if they can actually build those out and have the network go all across the US, then you know that opens the door to how many people can buy the trucks. I believe the first route, I believe Tesla's already confirmed this, will be from the Gigafactory in Nevada to Tesla's factory in California. So I'd expect them to build the first mega charger somewhere halfway in between there. So if you're scout on the highway, that's where I'd be looking. And, but the flip side of this whole mega charger problem is an opportunity, which is that Tesla said they will be selling energy at a fixed cost of seven cents per kilowatt through these mega chargers. And I believe this is gonna be a huge new revenue stream as they get more and more trucks on the road and they have you know installed these massive solar farms with batteries that are producing energy much lower than seven cents flipping it for seven cents capturing that margin so not only is the semi truck a mega 10 20 billion dollar opportunity in terms of just selling the trucks outright but it's potentially you know even more revenue from just the charging so i'm going to make another episode that goes into depth on you know just the revenue potential from the mega chargers and tesla's whole supercharger business alone so stay tuned for that anyway this is my deep dive into the tesla semi truck the gist here is i've had I do about quintuple my projections for the Tesla semi truck from 20,000 units at maturity to 100,000 units based on these new comments from Elon Musk. I also think these new tidbits we're getting from companies like DHL, who are the initial testers from the semi truck, are a really good sign. This makes me so happy as a Tesla shareholder, an entirely new growth avenue for the company. And we need the freight industry to get more sustainable. The way that that's going to happen is with self driving electric semi trucks. Thank you, Elon. This is Hyperchange. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.